was calm for a sec. <sighs> okay. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am so excited to finally be doing this. Um, I've actually been wanting to start YouTube for quite, quite some time, but you know, life gets in the way or you get all these insecurities. You know, I can continue putting excuses, but I won't because that's in the past. Anyways, so, um, you know, God has called us to get out of our comfort zone, and that is what I'm doing. So, yeah. So, I decided for the channel to be a lifestyle channel. So, what this means is that I'll be taking you alongside um, my daily life. Of course, when I do fun things, so I'll be blogging. Uh, I'll also be doing encouragement videos, faith-related videos, um, covers. I actually have a lot of fun ideas in mind. So I invite you to stick around. Um, yeah, I promise you a fun time. So why don't we take this time to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> So the topic that I wanted to talk about today is COVID-19. Um, as we know, it has affected the world in a huge way. And it can be really scary. It definitely can. But, you know, in the name of Jesus, we shouldn't be scared because he has everything under control and he has everything in his hands, you know. Uh, we just have to trust in him and trust his process and obviously pray it's affected the entire world but it's definitely have affected a tremendous way the church and how we do church you know let me tell you church is not the actual facilities it's not the actual four walls that we go to on sundays it's not we are church and we make church another thing that um it has definitely changed is social media before we would go, uh, we would try to avoid social media because it would be a distraction to us, uh, a distraction for us to get closer to God. Um, yeah, and now we go to social media to receive word. We go into social media to worship with others. Um, it's amazing. And, you know, I, I'm really excited. Uh, I'm really excited about that. And I hope it doesn't change. I hope that it doesn't change because that's how it should be from the beginning you know we shouldn't have waited for this to happen for us to be doing that on social media because social media is such a big platform that we can reach to so many people you know so um, all of this just it brings joy you know and I just hope that um, it doesn't change another topic that I wanted to talk about is as we know all churches or most of them have been closed um and there was churches before that already did live stream you know if that was live stream on facebook or on a website but then there was a lot of churches that didn't do live stream so they were kind of pushed to get out of their comfort zone and start doing live stream um and you know props to them you know because there was a lot there's a lot of traditional churches and a lot of traditional pastors you know that technology just comes hard to them and they stepped it up and uh said you know we have to do something for our members and you know props to them so with that being said um the least that we can do is actually watch the videos on social media um and i say this because you know on social media we're used to um just continue scrolling you know we don't find something if we don't find something appealing to the eye or the ear we just keep scrolling and the least that we can do for our pastors for our leaders that for our worship team that they go out of their way to live stream these services is actually make time in our homes with our families to sit down and watch the service to worship together um to receive word together you know that is the least that we can do um it could be really challenging to do that through social media because we would just want to continue scrolling you know and i get that but make that time you know if your service is uh, it's announcing they're gonna go live at 7 p.m you make sure you're not gonna do anything at 7 p.m you make sure that um 
you're sitting down with your family or by yourself, whatever you want, and you're watching the service, you know, and you watch the entire thing. Because uh, if you leave, you know, after worship or, um, I don't know, you might miss something that God wants to talk to you about or God wants to reveal a word to you. You might miss that. So I want to encourage you uh, to actually watch the whole thing, you know, do it for your pastors, do it for your leaders. Definitely do it for your own good uh, because they're doing it for you. So if they're doing it for you, you should take advantage of that. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is some things that you can do from home. Uh, I wanted to give you some ideas of things that you can do with your family. The first thing that I will say is that God gave us this opportunity to spend time with our families. Um, you know, a lot of people say, oh, we don't spend time together because I'm working all the time or I'm tired all the time. I don't have time. All these things. Well, God gave you time now. So the first thing that I say is spend time with your family, you know, spend time with your parents, spend time with your kids, whatever it is, spend time. Some of the things that you can do, like game night, you know, play bingo together, play cards together, Monopoly, whatever it is. Um, you can do uh, a craft night where you paint or where you um, make something, whatever it is, you know? And I am sure if you go into your garage, you'll find something, because I speak from, from experience. Um, you can do karaoke night. Who doesn't like to sing? So, you know, just you can have it on your phone, just uh, go on YouTube and uh, put any song, and then you can all do a song like that. Like, you spend time together with your family. You can also, you know, do a movie night. Definitely and most importantly is worship night. Like, worship with your family, you know. I feel like God gave us this time to invite Him into our homes, you know. Because the majority of us don't actually have that, that devotional time as a family and invite God into our homes. We, we don't, you know. And I feel like God gave us this time to invite him into our homes, to invite him into our families, you know, because we should have him as the center of it all. We should definitely have him as the center of it all. So I feel like the most important things is for you to have devotional times with your family, you know, like it doesn't have to be long, you know, it doesn't have to be long. It could be 20 minutes, 30 minutes, depending on your family, you know, uh, but just make some time, sing one or two songs, read a verse of the Bible and then talk about it. Um, yeah, trust me, if you do that, your house, your household and your family is going to change. It's going to change because God will be there. God will be the center. I encourage you to do that. Another thing, of course, you can definitely make TikToks. Like, yeah, um, I definitely want to do a TikTok with my dad. We'll see how that goes. Another thing that you can do is go into your closet and plan outfits for the future. You know, a lot of us girls have a lot of clothes, you know, and sometimes, or and most of the time, we don't know what to wear. Now that you have time to go into your closet and plan outfits, you know, put it, put it on, jewelry, everything, and then take a picture of it like that you remember in the future. Oh, that's, that's a really good I want to encourage you, yes, you, to go out of your way and put your talent out there, you know? We all have a talent, we all do. And if you don't know your talent, use this time to find your talent. Um, you know, put your talent out there. We need we need a lot more uh, positivity out on social media. We definitely do. There's a lot of uh, craziness that people post. So I encourage you to, uh, you know, put your talent out there if that's like, drawing do a tutorial of you drawing something and teach us how you did it um uh, if that's working out definitely like record yourself teaching us how to do a workout for god knows that i need that um if that's singing like post singing uh that's playing an instrument um definitely anything like anything just put it out there you know you have the time um Get out of your comfort zone. A lot of us came in 2020 
uh, with a lot of goals, a lot of uh, New Year's resolutions, and we've kind of just put a stop to it. We're like, if the world has stopped and I can't go outside, then I'm just going to stop and chill for a bit. No, it should not be like that, you know? If you said you wanted to work out, you can definitely work out from home. If you said you wanted to eat healthier, you, should, you can still eat healthier, you know? Like, don't go and buy all these snacks and chips and, you know? Oh my god, quarantine, I have to buy everything that I can't. <laughs> definitely, I'm guilty, but anyways, you know? Yeah, if you wanted to, uh, you know, read the Bible more, this is the time for you to do that. If you wanted to get closer to God, this is the time for you to do that. Yeah, don't put a stop to your goals and your dreams just because the world has stopped, you know. Um, yeah, I encourage you to continue with, with your goals and your dreams. We need more people to get out of their comfort zones um, and do what they're do what they're called to do you know continue with your goals make new so thank goals. you so much for watching i hope that you liked this video i hope that it was useful to you i definitely had a lot of fun uh recording it it was definitely a process i promise i'll be better uh but yeah it was still fun and definitely if you have any prayer requests comment them below if you have any uh, video ideas that you want me to try comment them below i'm very open and i'm really excited um but yeah I love every single one of you guys and until my next video, bye.